But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give that a try. Never killed them before. Figured I may as well. See what we get from our last few urns and if we can even complete all of them. Still no urn though, it's or a tome, it's really depressing. <laughs> that is my first or related urn in like 60 of them today. We do, however, get another shoulder monkey. Why not? Yeah, why not? Now we have cooked tuna, and that's one of those tasks where I'm just like, fuck it. And then mahogany logs. Yikes. Well, that shoulder monkey is definitely motivating. <clears throat> I love those monkeys, though, but I've had seven of them, though, and now zero ancient skiller tomes. It's a little... Hmm. Why? I think getting our frost fuse slayer hammer isn't a bad idea. It's spooned with a $20 bond coming in out of nowhere. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Much love to you. Uh, good enough. Wait, do I have my ring of greed on? Yes, I do. Okay. Great. There we go. More or less a full exchange. It's a little bit off, but close enough that I don't really need to care. It's like 400 rune coins off ish. Oh, it's a little bit more actually, but whatever. There we go, some free stuff. Now what we're looking for. Should we just, uh, should we unlock it? Oh, well, saving rune coins for that ain't a bad idea, but, but let, let's just get the Frost Lair on. I've been wanting to get it for a while anyway. Frost Slayer Helm, buy the upgrade, 15k, easy peasy. Not too bad. Nice little 5% damage increase, we'll take it. Oh! I guess it's monster bound and not place bound. That is... Okay, that's dumb. <laughs> Should have killed him here in the first place, then I would have gotten some VIP tokens from it. Does the VIP cape give double VIP tokens? Oh no, just two times rune X points. Okay, that's pointless. <laughs> Get it, points. Um, 10 key each. Fuck me, bro. Only 25 kills. I can't do him in an instance. And the public place is fucking taken. Let's just kill some Zemi then. I think even if I kill Kril, Tsutarov, Zelyana and Grador, I don't think I'll have enough VIP tickets for 25 more. <sighs> nah, that's a lie nuke. You can't have two daddies. I'm not sure how, how to go about this. Not being able to actually make an instance for Lizard Chalmance is something I slightly oversaw. And there's 99 Prayer, by the way. Attuned Faith number 2. 99 Prayer completed. And only 400k for 99 Strength. How to go about this? Like my only other option is crashing the dude inside of the uh, the public plays and just take those. That's literally my only option right now. Wait, wait, what? We got a pet and a staff right after each other. When did I get a pet? What? Oh wow, I got it on one KC as well. Interesting. I didn't even notice. <laughs> It is unfortunate though, I really wanted to just blast through the Lizard Shamans and see how many I could get in a single stream then. Oh, there's Semi Spear, easy game. 9kc. This game is uh, not that difficult, boys. <laughs> Why are people so upset? It's easy game. 50k runex points, fuck me. I already filled two of these enchantments, so hopefully we can get it. Only 50%, so I should have already had it. Don't fail a third time, please. Of course it does. I fucking hate these enchantments so much sometimes, dude. Same with the Bone Crusher, that one failed a million times as well. God damn, rip the runex points, man. But then number four. 50% my fucking nutsack, bro. What is this? Hello? 50, there's 150k down the drain. Total of 250k to get this piece of shit. 
What do you mean 50% chance? I swear to- mm, boy. Nah. Nah, you have, you have to be joking right now. This is so fucking ridiculous. Hello? There we fucking go! Jesus, took six attempts! Six! You have got to be kidding me! The emo log, I haven't even done a single emo let yet, let alone getting the log. Obtain the scythe of it there. Obtain 12 pets on- wait! Obtain 12 pets on the skilling pet log. I forgot that was a genuine challenge. How many do I have? I have 12. Hold up. I actually completed one of my promo package challenges and I didn't even fucking realize. Huh. Well then, I guess we'll use this moment as a separate challenge completed clip? I didn't say it when I got the pet because I didn't realize. That is actually really nice. An exotic M-Box. And I will just open that for a uh, a blessing, I don't know. Hey, we got a middle! Yes, let's go. Didn't double, but we already got one, that's great. Let's go kill another uh, Galvanic Golem. So, long story short, challenge completed, obtained 12 skilling pets. Beautiful. I don't know why I made it 12, I should have done 14 in hindsight, because that would have been halfway marked, but I'll take it. I didn't think we would get it that fast. Let's kill a Galvanic Golem and open a promo pack to them, since we completed that challenge. Ben tokens. Let's see. Cool. Actually, wait, Tree Crest is huge! That's probably like one of the only things I can actually use from these. Wait, that's huge. That's actually insane. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. Tree Crest. And we already have 9 in the bag, so that brings us to a total of 12. Uh, obviously, anything that I gain from the theater raid box, I won't be able to use. So, just this your uh, chest guard, but again, I won't be able to use it. But I'll just hang on to it in case uh, the merchant ends up asking for that at some point as a hard task. It's nice to get nonetheless, but even if it was a scythe, it would have meant nothing to me. You know? Oh, and the $20 bond is a nice bonus as well, of course. Free donator tickets. And uh, we'll have to save the mystery tickets until I unlock those separately, right? As you boys know. Still not too bad, three crests. I was gonna say, the things I need to hope for the most are basically... Crests and epic pet boxes, I would say? Nightmare box wouldn't be too bad either, because it could be a potential elite wanderer, right? If I got an inquisitor piece or whatever, I could potentially get asked for that for one of the Wanderer tasks. But that doesn't matter. It didn't end up happening and it's quite irrelevant. Right, epic luck. Let's go make a Galvanic Totem. I think Tree Crest is the best thing I could ask for, honestly. Like, we're already at 12. Three more and I'll be halfway to full Crest Bearer. But if we could all just get our 10kc done for the future, you know, just for the... Uh, Challenger, Challenger, Orb, Challenges. Who we get real quick? Yes, an Exalted Butterfly Net. Finally, our first unique of the account, boys. Finally. Oh, yes, that feels good. Oh, shut the fuck up, Rich. 9kc for the first unique is everything but a spoon. Now, we also got 90 mil cash and ninja amplings. Um, no mud battle staffs, unfortunately, but, uh, I'll take it, finally. Yes. There's a guaranteed 80% chance to catch Implinks and gives 10% chance to double the Implinks loot. Let's have a look at the next giveaway winner as well, real quick. Mr. Sean, and I don't mean Goba again. Hey, there it is, Nightmare not Farming. Uh, it's S-E-A-N, Sean. I just need to focus on the things I need to do, really, after this stream. Oh, of course, event crystal keys, why not? I thought we actually got it in the last minute here, but no, not that lucky. You're right, though, wearing prayer stuff definitely helps. I drink a lot less prayer now. 
we have enough skilling points for one more urn. I'm not gonna prioritize that for now, after this. I think I'll uh, just focus on the... Oh, we got it! Wait, what? Okay, let's go. Just in time, boys. Let's fucking go. Right, here we go. Final hit right here. Nope, it stuns me as it's about to die. Great. Good job. There we go. And this time it's a... Let's see. Yeah, it does increase. Yeah, I think that might be one of the worst Galvanic Golem loots I've seen outside of people not bringing an Epic Luck token. First of all, Lava Battle Staffs is the biggest rip you can get because it's worth nothing. It has zero rune coin value, so that is fucking eight in and of its own. All right then, boys, just finished another beautiful, beautiful stream with lots of highlights. And I want to summarize all of them so that when I, you know, edit it tomorrow, I remember all those things. We got an Exalted Butterfly Net and the Dragon Hunter Lance. Well, basically, we got the Zemi Spear this stream so we could make the Dragon Hunter Lance. We also got multiple 99s out of the way. We got 99 Strength and Prayer out of the way, as well as Farming. So that ain't too shabby as well. A little bit of Herb Lore and Hunter progress at the end. And uh, spent some Donator tickets. Got a total of two Galvanic Golem kills, actually. The second one was trash, though. But we did get our Crest for a total of 10 KC, which is a nice little bonus challenge. Um, as well as opening our first promo. What a stupid me, eh? Completely forgot about the fact that we had that challenge to begin with, which was to uh, get 12 skilling pets, which we did, and I completely forgot about it. Um, so yeah, that was really, really nice as well, and we got three crests from that on top of it, bringing our total to 13 now. Two more and we'll be halfway to a crest set. Uh, we also did a rune coin exchange at the start and ended up buying our Frost Slayer Helm, so that was really nice. Nice little upgrade compared to the normal fused, 5% more magic damage. Just nice overall. And I think that's uh, the majority of it, unless I'm missing anything else, but... If that is the case, you just saw it already. This is after the stream anyway, but still. <laughs> just try to memorize everything, because it was quite a hectic one. We originally wanted to do golems and shamans, but it didn't work out, and I couldn't do instant shamans. We also did some kills at the uh, VIP zone, I guess I won't highlight that, but a few achievements done because of that. Some are just in progress, like 25 kills, because that's all I can spawn, but some of them did give achievements related to like Chaos Elemental, for example, you know, getting 10 kills on that one, um, and I think another one of something. Yeah, the Lizard Shaman one is also an achievement, Cold-Blooded Killer one, stuff like that, a few achievements here and there. But altogether, our progress is coming on along really nicely. Uh, as you can see, we also got some Mystic Tokens again from uh, uh, opening 10 sack of tokens, the shiny ones as well. So that is really nice. And I think we're gonna go ahead and do a few more lamps. Let me check my Grace marks. Okay, I have plenty right now anyway. So I can just buy some lamps, upgrade them, and I'm gonna dump more of them on Hunter. We just used 27 from Ancient Skilling Us that I have ended up stocking up. Uh, all on Hunter as well, which gave me one level and we're 253k off of 95. That is uh, some nice progress. It is a bit of a rip on the rune coins, but fuck it. We have it right now. I got my Frost Slayer Helm, so I don't think it's a bad thing to spend it on right now. Anyway, I want a max as soon as possible. It's like my highest priority anyway. So, not a waste to me at least. Out of Mystic Tokens, out of Rune Coins, but 814k left for 99. So I guess we can just get that the legitimate way later, no problem. Alright, last commentary clip for today. I decided to start out with Thieving, I needed it to 99 anyway. Fun fact, you can use this uh, Donator Elixir while on Challenge Mode. Even though normally you can't use any Elixirs. This one is fine, I needed the daily anyway, figured I might as well use the Elixir and go for the full hour. Or just get 99. And I'll see you guys when I hit that level, and then maybe go back to either cutting mahogany logs that work on 99 construction, or room crafting, one or the other, or thieving, or, or uh, I mean hunter, I don't know yet, we'll see when I'm done here, maybe I'll just log out. Alright then ladies and gentlemen, last night I managed to get 99 thieving out of the way, pretty happy about that. Currently making some mahogany planks so we can work on construction. I think I'm gonna make like 1500 of them or so. 
I don't know how much I'm at right now. Yeah, almost at 1500. Uh, use those up, see what level it gets me to, and then I have uh, a total of 3k logs. So I can just make another 1500 if it isn't enough. And uh, just go back to wood cutting if that isn't enough still. So, yeah, I, I don't know what to expect. I don't know how much XP it is per plank on average, but I think it should get us fairly high. And then I can also finally upgrade my little POH portals to have the uh, marble block ones. Because I can't make stuff like Lizard Shaman portals at the moment, which is kind of shitty. Still a lot of work to do though, and we're currently at 2,000 boss points. I need a total of 6,000 to uh, get Swift Spawner unlocked. Can't wait for that though. But gotta have to put some work in on that one. Still on challenge mode at the moment as well. I think I'll turn it off soon enough, but... My idea for tonight was to do some uh, Nightmare on stream, and I wanted to get 10 uh, challenge mode kills out of the way if it was possible. Figured I could do 5 in public and 5 in private instances. That way I will get the achievement or challenge whatever for killing uh, Nightmare 10 times on challenge mode, which gives a Nightmare box pretty good. And then also, at least I think it does, <laughs> and then also um, I would get the 5 kill count requirement for challenge mode on both the global and the normal nightmare. So I don't have to worry about that at any point again. Obviously, completing challenge mode to get the challenger jet pad isn't anything I'll, I'm close to right now. Some of the biggest unlocks are like, uh, well, Chasm Quaker, uh, Sacred Titans or Grand Titans I should say. Those kind of NPCs. So I won't be able to do that anytime soon, and I'm also not doing Vork and Chasm Quaker until I get a Terra Pet anyway, just as extra insurance. Never know when you're gonna death click on a fireball and you get one shot, I don't wanna risk that. So um, yeah, still quite a lot of things to do once we get there though. Um, but first and foremost, we're gonna focus on maxing. I think Nightmare and then in the future Night Terror, as soon as we unlock it, will be a good thing for us to focus on. Because it will allow me to uh, start getting imbuing crystals or imbuing stones and gr grant crests a little bit more reliably. And I need those imbuing stones because I want to rush the grant max cape as soon as I max and get 150 achievements, honestly. I think imbuing stones are like the hardest part out of that for now, for the time being. I have grant crests, I have the ability to get infernal capes, fire capes, whatever. Champion caves even, we have like 15 episode heads, but imbuing stones might be an issue. I want to get that out of the way as well. Anyway, for now, let's focus on maxing. There's only so little to go. Let's see if we can maybe even finish that off today. Right, so I do need more planks, but uh, that's besides the point. That's not why I'm turning on the recorder. I was just going over my challenges, looking at the mystery tickets ones, like which ones can I potentially complete? Otherwise, we talked about the challenge mode nightmare earlier. And then I noticed that at the bottom I actually had one for six skilling pets on the skilling pet log. I did not even realize I added that at some point. And yesterday we got this one for 12 pets. <laughs> I didn't realize at all that this was one of the challenges that I had added as well. It took way less time than it would have, you know, have required normally anyway. But like, six skilling pets, I guess. It ain't even that much, but I have been pretty spooned on them. But yeah, I would have gotten that a while ago, it just wouldn't have been claimable, technically speaking. Because I didn't have three mystery tickets, but now I got three mystery tickets because of the promo challenge for five, for 12 skilling pets. So I guess I can claim that now. It's not something I just added or anything, it was already there, it's just one of those... Like, these challenges, I have to look at them on a very regular basis to remind myself of what's there like I, I wouldn't be surprised if I got something and then I realized a week later that oh yeah that was a challenge too you know I am continuously adding more stuff to it over time as I think of more and more things because obviously this isn't enough especially in the mystery tickets and hundred dollar bonds department gotta realize for every name one promo and one grand promo that is a total of three mystery ticket challenges and five $100 bond challenges. So those departments especially, I need to continue adding more to it. But uh, I guess we'll just claim it for the time being. It's a bit late, but challenge completed, haha. Uh -huh. Completed a while ago though, <laughs> the moment I got six pets. But at least I can claim it now. So that is the more important part. 
Um, so yeah, after this I guess we can uh, go ahead and use those mystery tickets on the merchant and get our second exotic mystery box. <laughs> 